All right, first grade. Today we are going to be making clay turtles. What you're going to do is you're going to get a little ball of clay. What I want you to do is I want you to break it in half, okay? Then with one ball of clay, I want you to try to make a really nice, neat ball. Now I kind of do that in my hands. Sometimes if it's if I need to, I can kind of tap on the ball with my hands to make a nice neat ball. And now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of smoothing out any weird lumps or bumps or cracks. Smoothing those out. Then on my table, I'm just going to kind of press on it with my hand just to make it a little flat. Not too much, just a little bit. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your entire canvas. Now this canvas is what we're working on so our clay doesn't stick to our table. You're gonna take your whole canvas and set it on the floor. And yes, I set it on the floor. Then you're going to take your foot. Yep, I said it, your foot. And you are going to step on your clay. I do not want you to step on it so hard that you are going to smush it and it all comes out from underneath your foot and your, you have clay everywhere. All we want to do is press hard enough to press that texture. And remember, texture is how something feels. We want to press hard enough with our shoe to make the texture from the bottom of our shoe press into our clay. So you don't need to press real, pr really hard, but you need to press hard enough to press that texture in. Also, we can kind of flatten our clay just a little bit more this way. So you don't, I don't want you to press all of your weight onto your clay. I want you to just kind of press your foot down and pull it up and look at what really cool texture your shoe has made. So my shoe has kind of made these little bumpies, which is really cool. Now, for our turtle, this is going to be our turtle's shell. Then we need to make him legs and a head and a tail. So with your remaining piece, I want you to try to break it into three pieces. And if one of them looks a little bit bigger than the others, pull a little tiny piece off that because we're going to need that in a little bit. So you should have three pieces that are about the same size and then one that is little because we're going to use that for some tiny details here in a minute. Then what you're going to do with these three pieces is you are going to make what's called a coil. A coil is when you roll like a snake-like piece out of your clay. So I'm going to take this. I like to start it in my hand. So now I'm just rolling it on my canvas. I'm trying to make it even. I don't want one side of my coil to be way thicker than another side of my coil. Now this coil is way too long and I'll show you why. Let's make our next one. I might have gotten too much clay for my coils and that's okay because we can always just shorten our coils. All right, so I have three coils. They're not exactly the same size, but that's okay. We can cut them, cut them to the size we need them. So now what you're gonna do is <laughs> you are going to flip over your turtle and you are going to do the most important part of clay projects. You are going to slip and score. Slipping and scoring is the glue of clay. So what you do, this is the back of my, this is the back of my turtle shell. So my really cool texture is the front. I wanna flip it over so I don't see my really cool texture because I don't wanna mess that up. But on the back side, on the flat side, I'm going to scratch it up. That's the scoring part of slipping and scoring. So I kind of have this little fork tool and I'm scratching it up. 
then I also want to scratch up the middle of my coils, the parts that's going to touch my, the part that's going to touch my turtle shell. So about here, okay? I need to do that to all three. All right, then the slip is like the glue. So the slip is in this little jar and it's just liquid clay. It's just clay that has water added to it and it's like our glue. So we're gonna add a little bit just like we would with glue and then we're gonna stick it down and then we're gonna press it. Really press it into our turtle shell. Then, with our next coil, we're gonna do the same thing, but look, we've kind of covered up some of our scoring. So, I'm gonna score in the middle of that coil that I just glued down. I'm gonna put a little bit of slip on the back of this coil. Not so much, we're gonna think of it just like we think of normal glue, where we don't wanna add so much that it oozes out, but we want enough that it's gonna stick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an X across my turtle shell. And I'm gonna press that down. The last thing we're gonna make is one more that goes across. So you can see I made an X first, and now I'm gonna make one more that goes across. Your X is your turtle's legs. The one that goes across is going to be your turtle's head and your turtle's tail. So, I'm gonna score this up again. Stick that on there and I'm going to press it down. And I'm kind of wiping off any of that slip that might have oozed out. Now, some of these legs are way too long. So I'm just gonna use one of my tools to trim them off where I want them to be. Now his tail can be super short. And if you want, you can kind of pinch his tail to make it pointy. Now I'm gonna flip it over so I can work on his head. Now I want his head to kind of be looking up. So I'm gonna kind of fold over the top part, the, the very bottom part of that coil. I took it and I folded it over and I'm kind of pressing it back in. And I'm kind of pointing his head up a little bit. Like that. And if you want, I kind of get a little bit of slip on my finger to kind of smooth it out. Then, with one of my tools, there's a bunch of different tools that you can use. I'm going to press some little claws into his feet. See that? All I did was took this little tool and I just pressed it right there twice just to give him some little claws on his feet. Alrighty, now he just needs eyes and a mouth. So with that little tiny piece that we saved, you don't even need that much of it. You maybe even could have used some of the pieces from the uh, parts that we didn't need of his feet. I'm just gonna make two little tiny balls. So there's one, it's so tiny, and it sounds silly, but we've gotta slip and score or they won't stick. So, my little fork tool, I'm gonna to scratch up where I want his little eyeballs to go. I'm gonna scratch up the back of the little circles that I just made. I'm going to get the tiniest bit of slip. And right now these are round. When I press them on here, 
I'm going to kind of press them flat a little bit. Not so flat that you won't see them anymore, but just so they're not a circle anymore. They're kind of a flatter eye on his face. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. I'm going to take this same, this same little wooden tool and just press it into the center to make the center of his eyes. Can you see him? His little eyes? Now all he needs is a mouth. There's a bunch of different tools that you can use to make a mouth. I'm gonna use this little flat one. You can use the needle tool. You could use this little plastic tool, all kinds. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the side of this little wooden tool and I'm just going to press it Press it into his face to make his little mouth. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Try to be careful with him while he is still wet because you don't want his little arms or legs to fall off. But there we go. There is our finished little turtle. Once we fire them in the kiln, we'll take them out and we will paint them to make them really beautiful.